I'm going to go over the uh, only other absent Division One men's basketball that occurred yesterday. And it was number 12, Kansas State lost to number 22, TCU, 80-67. to This is in spite of TCU not having Eddie Lincoln, the best big, one of the better big guys on their team. Because he's taking care of his some personal issues. And allegedly, it, it is because of mistreatment. But that's besides the point. As for the game, Kansas State didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 43.6% from the field, 24 for 55 overall. 7 for 30 on threes, 23.3%. You ain't going to win with that. 12 no, for 15 on free throws, 41 rebounds, low nose offensive, 12 assists, not that great. 5 steals, 6 blocks, 20 turnovers, that's way too many. 15 fouls, and that's. 11, 15, 16 points off the bench. TCU had 18 points off the bench. They shot 40.3% from the field. 27 for 67 overall. 11 for 25 on threes. When they make threes, they're dangerous. 15 for 21 on free throw, 71.4%. 34 rebounds, 14 of those offensive, 17 assists, 9 steals, 5 blocks, 9 turnovers, 17 fouls. Now, Kansas State is going to be either a two seed or a three seed. I would think three seed because their non-conference schedule wasn't that great. And the quad number of quad one wins is not good enough to be potentially a two seed, but but the wait and see. Now TCU it does have to play today and it gets Texas. And remember the they beat Texas recently. TCU did. But uh, but those team two teams overall, they won like the home team has won that game. So this is like the rubber match of all rubber matches. Because last time it was seventy five to seventy three. Though granted, the game was already out of reach by that point. And TCU actually was up big against Texas in Austin. But Texas won that game seventy nine to seventy five. So. I expect to see some uh, fireworks in this game, and figuratively, as in like, it's going to be very high scoring and very, very, it's at least very, very close. If not, maybe a game in the 70s. We'll have to wait and see, because there's no Eddie Lamb can for TCU, I mean. And I'm pretty sure there was no, uh, yeah, like both teams didn't score a single point for for the rest of the game from in this game from two forty two mark onward. Believe it or not, nobody scored a thing. So that's interesting. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And see you guys later. Five and scores. We're on the road to it. Let's go.